Amazon listing optimization. Everybody's got to do it. You got to get that title, the bullets, the description, the A plus content and all of these different fields correct. But there's some subtle optimizations that you've got to do that a lot of people just don't talk about. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to be walking through a bunch of listings and doing what I like to call the ASIN review. So when we look at this listing, the first thing that this company has done correct is put a giant photo cropped as tightly as possible. So when you go in and zoom in on this, see how big the image is, see how tight the white space, minimal white space on the top and bottom. You can verify this by putting it into any particular, uh, you know, photo program like Urfam, and you can see how tight that white space is right at the top and right at the bottom. And I, I really like this because it makes the item as big as possible, but do make sure you have some white space at the top and the bottom. So if we were to really zoom in here and scroll up, you can see that there is at least a couple of white pixels at the top. That's intentional because if you bleed across that line, you could cause a listing suppression. In fact, it's called a hidden suppression. And if you have one of those, your product can't be found. Somebody will search the ASIN and it cannot be located. And if that happens to you, I've got a guide on how to fix that. Just type in hidden suppression to Google. My video will come up first and you can walk through that guide. All right, so that's the first thing. In your image, you wanna have this to be at least 2000 by 2000 pixels. That's fundamental to having a, a well-optimized image. The other big call out that's done really well here is that the gummy is seen clearly right there on the bottle. If you're selling something consumable, you need to see it. Supplements need to show the pills. All items need to show what am I getting? This is also the case for accessories. If you have something that's not visible from the main image, you are doing a disservice to your CTR. That is your click through rate if you don't have it in the main image. As you go through and see all these different secondary images, one of the most important things that they do here is show a person using the product, smiling, and most importantly, looking directly at the camera. That is so fundamental. Every single listing ever needs to have a person smiling, touching the product, and looking at the camera. This is the most missed opportunity that I ever see in secondary images. Let's go back to the main list here. Here are the other products. We're gonna avoid some of the sponsor products. We're gonna go to the top organic ones. So this guy, he's number 2,700 in house and household. Uh, this one's 710, goalie number 21 there, which is obviously the juggernaut that we just went over, 1600 on this guy. So these are three listings, all of which have very high rankings and are all worthwhile running the same exercise. So let's do just that. What do you notice? They've got the gummies right on top of the image. They did the same thing with the tight croppings, but their secondary images a little bland, got the same thing showed twice basically with one just minor difference between the bottom layer here and a couple different things that they say. But this is very much show, don't tell. And you need to um, do, you need to show and don't tell. And this is telling, not showing, and that's a problem. I do like the nice touch with the apple slice, but it's so barren. There's not a lot going on here. You see the same thing, basically three images in a row, absolute hot garbage. I give this a C minus. Uh, and the photo they have of the women, it's smiling, great, no, no problem, but not looking at the camera, not even holding the product, just holding an apple. Like, okay, I get it, but that's just not sufficient. Uh, bullet points are too short. Title is still not that, that keyword centric. Nobody types in gluten free. Like, let me prove that. Let's go, let's look at the, let's clear the filter here. We're gonna type in uh, keywords that have the word gluten in them. So phrases containing gluten and hit enter. There's 64 keywords with the word gluten, but guess what? Only, only 37 people, excuse me, 3,600 people are looking for gluten a month, which is kind of weird and probably not what we're looking for. 75,000 on gluten free. And if we click this, what do we actually see, right? Like what, what are people shopping for gluten free here? It's mostly uh, breads and items and grains, right? So like 
Nobody is shopping for a supplement with gluten-free. It's just totally off-brand. It doesn't make any sense. And that's not how people shop for gluten-free. They're, they're trying to avoid wheat in wheat and products. And, and so like, I, I don't care if there's 75,000 search volume for a keyword, it's just simply not relevant. And I think that's a big miss on all of the major players here. I would absolutely put every misspelling for Golly in the back end of my search terms, as well as the alt text, because clearly you can ride that. Don't go for the exact match on the competitor brand name. Avoid the trademark iteration. Um, you don't want to deal with that. But uh, policing on that's pretty low, by the way. Pretty low risk stuff if you end up doing it. All right. So we looked at that. Let's go to the next listing. Uh, I think we're to this one now. So this is the Orphic Nutrition listing. They didn't put the gummy to the side. That's a mistake. But they do have a picture of an apple on it. I like that. Um, here's a significantly stronger image in comparison. We're seeing all these gummies. I think this would have been a better main image. Swap these two and then, and then you got the graphics on the side. All right, so we've learned nothing about this product between these shots. Okay, 1000 MG, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I used to sell, uh, I had a client with hemp products and it was this giant race for the, th the biggest MG you could possibly get. The consumer doesn't care about MG. I mean, they, I, I'll give you, like, they see big numbers and it means something, but um, here you go, 1000 MG, but it says 500 MG right there. You got like a discredited information for the science because it's like totally opposite what it says on the listing. Nobody with detail orientation. Uh, at this company, they didn't catch that. All right, let's keep going. So you got the vitamin B12, at least you show the emoji and the beet juice like that. And geez Louise, who likes beet juice with their apple cider venom or gummy? That's not gonna taste good. Pomegranate, now we're talking, that's gonna taste a little bit better. But um, I just feel like they could have shown me some beets, they could have showed me some pomegranates. They got the emoji, but it's a little weak sauce. Like show me the actual fruit, right? You, you did the job over here where you're showing the apples. Uh, and you even showed me like the browning apple. You're like trying to show me how realistic this product is, but like it's still a Photoshop job. Everybody knows it, right? Like nobody actually took a photo of a person with this product using it. That's a problem. I think you could do better. Here's one way you could do a supplement facts image is by trying to spice it up a little bit and like showcasing a couple of features. This is probably the best supplements facts image we've seen. But overall, this listing is total garbage, C minus, total garbage, right? Now, if we go to the title though, nobody searches 1000 MG, nobody cares. Formulated to support weight loss. So here we go. This is, these guys are embracing the weight loss angle. And I'm curious, did that prevent them from doing advertisement? So let's go over and find out. Let's go over to Cerebro. Let's see if these guys are advertising. While that loads, let's look at their history. Um, so these guys have been pretty static. So what's interesting here is these guys have not moved on pricing. They had some stock out events in April. You can see those blue chart where it goes blank. That means a stock out. Um, you got goalie advertising straight on the listing right there. Uh, they're, they're the dominant player just taking ownership. 244 keywords are advertised on, 8,000 organic indexed. So this listing uh, is, is beating the other, the second one we looked at. Um, on indexing by a long shot. And they're absolutely going for weight management. Now they have an asterisk here. Generally speaking, when there's an asterisk, they're backing up an asterisk with the claim. So it's probably gonna be explained somewhere on the listing. And I'm gonna scroll down towards the bottom to see if we can find it. Didn't see it, but we have this asterisk mentioned in multiple locations, which is kind of further proof to what I was talking about earlier, where, uh, okay, so we're getting down to the legal disclaimer. Uh, not evaluated by the FDA or health condition. So when do they explain the actual health weight loss? Uh, not evaluated, each serving maintains healthy weight, taking these apple cider. Okay, so they're, they're probably living on the edge here. They've probably had a listing yank before. Maybe that stock out event in April was actually a listing yank instead of a stock out because we don't see it like start to slowly go up, kind of like this. This is more of what you would see in a stock out event. It just went total blank. So maybe what happens, they got yanked in March 24th, went back online April 14th, and then boom, they're off to the races. Um, so this is why the weight loss claim is tricky because you have to have documentation. So I bet if we looked at their listing from earlier this year, they didn't have all these asterisks around. Very common in sort of uh, uh, the, the health category. 
Um, I'm just noticing that these guys have a subscribe and save. I have to go back and check to see if the other ones did as well. I'm kind of curious now. Let's scroll to the top. They got subscribe and save. I'm pretty sure all of them are going to have it. Let's take a look at Golly real quick. They've got subscribe and save. They're offering 10 and 15%. These guys are offering... Can't even tell if they're offering a discount. And then these guys are not. And then let's go back to the listing we're working on. These guys have a five and a 10. So, so these guys are going for more of the premium play. They're not offering discounts very much. The subscribe and save is a little bit on the low side. Most products these days, by the way, are automatically enrolled in subscribe and save. They're not necessarily um, things you can do to improve your odds at that, but don't go out of stock. That's the number one way. You have to have 90 days of data for them to enable subscribe and save typically, um, or at least have proof you have 90 days of stock. You might get subscribe and save earlier than 90 days on a product launch, but very difficult to maintain it if you go out of stock over that 90 day course. Also, if you come back in stock when you have subscribe and save, those are the first shipments that are gonna go out the door and they're automatically gonna ship. And those are sales that are just kind of waiting around for you. I really like these guys' uh, product grid. This one's really strong because we can get the additional flavors here elderberry lots of, that's very intuitive right now uh very in rather um and and off to the races right this is a product grid done well i give these guys an a on the product grid big photos lots of jar uh, imagery links correctly um, talks about all the different things supports heart health helps with low energy supports immune system and they got check marks based on which product does what so if you're looking for the right product uh, may reduce appetite. There's a nice little check mark there, right? So that's how they're getting their asterisks around, most likely as they're they're uh, relating it to this. But we don't see any backup to the claims, and that's probably why they got yanked. My speculation back in the March April timeframes. Um, all right. So overall, these guys are doing better than the second guy. All right, so that's what I don't like about Goalie. We spent 15 minutes just talking about them because these guys are the best. They're the best in class. But here's the thing. If you want to grow your sales, don't compare the listing optimization to the best. Go take their keywords. Go download their Cerebra report and figure out like what needs to be done. Look at their keyword word frequency chart up here on the right where you can see all the things that they're really focused on. So wait and pills and loss and fat and detox, those are the reasons and the features that you really need to circulate. 